What's going on? I'm Faceless, and today I'm going to show you how to but download the Tor browser. Um, I do want to make a quick dis disclaimer. If you're using the Tor browser to go to the deep web, which a lot, of, which is the main purpose of it, at, at least for most people, um, do not attempt to purchase or download anything off of the dark web. Um, mainly because there's some um, very illegal stuff on there, and I am not responsible for anything you do. I'm only doing this as to show you how to, how to download it. So we have a flash drive here, and I really only recommend doing this. It's a lot less hassle. Well, it's not that much hassle on doing this this way. But if you don't have Safe Search on, just go just Google it. But I'm not. But I'm. I have Safe Search on. So you want? So um, I'm at torproject.org on my Xbox on Microsoft Edge, as we can see here, Xbox, and. We're going to plug in this little thingy right here. This is actually a flash drive. Um, this is what you'll need to transfer the download file from Xbox to PC. PC. And so we're just going to plug this in like so. And it'll, it'll say something like um, USB thing plugged in. Um, now you'll want to see, now you'll want to download this for whichever one you're using. You can download this for Mac OS, you can download this for Windows. I use a Windows operating system or OS in my, for me, so I'm going to click on download for Windows. And then you should see, what do you want to do with Tor Browser? Install a Win64 9.5 English US.exe. Uh, that's basically just the... Ins install thing so we'll want to go to save as so we're gonna click save as <laughs> and here we have the Xbox here we we have three sections it's normally only two um, recent and Xbox but we have a third one that's available now called flash drive um, we're gonna go to there and this folder is empty. This is a completely fresh drive. So we're gonna come over to this little green button that says save. Um, we're gonna click on save here. Focus, please. Click on save. And it will say it has been saved. Running security scan and a yes. Um, the window, the, the Tor browser install has finished downloading, if it will focus better. Yep, Tor, you, you can sort of make it out. I don't have the best camera, so I'm sorry for that, but Tor browser install has finished down downloading. So we'll take out this, put it in the computer like so. And you you can see it. It's in there. And now we have flash drive on our computer. Um, okay, come on, please just focus with me. Focus with me, please. I'm sorry, guys. This is not focusing at all. But that's the install thing for Tor. So we're gonna just double click on that. And, okay, come on, this, this phone's better than this, come on, man. Okay, that's not working at, at all, freaking, don't know what's going on here. It, you can kind of, there we go. Please select a language. I am obviously speaking English, English, so let's go with English, we can, we have it. Being a large variety, I'm gonna click on OK and choose install location. Set up will install Tor browser in the following folder. Um, I'm gonna turn that down. Um, we're gonna press install and that will install the Tor, the Tor browser. 
again, I'm going to say this again. Don't download anything off the dark web. Don't purchase anything off the dark web. Um, add start menu. Okay, we're, we're actually going to select both. So, run tour browser. Yes. Add start menu. Yes. Finish. And be careful of what sites you go to. And then you should get this. It says connect to tour. Um, click connect to tour. Click connect to connect to tour. Click configure to adjust network settings if you are in a country that senses tour, such, such as Egypt, China, Turkey, etc. Or if you are connecting from a private network that requires a proxy. So I'm from none of those. So connect and this will connect you to to Tor, which which um, just a little bit of inf info here. Tor stands for the on onion router. Um, then you get this. This is what Tor looks like freshly downloaded. Um, now that's basically how you set it up. Uh, you you can't just now the thing with the dark web is you you can't just Mm, do like hirehitman.com or something here. No, you actually need a specific link. So, so it's going to be a string of letters and, and numbers. And then instead of .com, .org, etc., etc., it's going to be .onion. And, and that's what they use. And so, and so uh, this also runs with DuckDuckGo for some reason or another. So, yeah. But yeah, that's how you set up Tor. Um, you you can find a bunch of dark dark web websites just by searching up dark deep net websites or something like that, and then you should get some. But that's basically how you set up Tor. If you guys enjoyed that, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to never ever miss an upload from me ever again. And final dis disclaimer: I know I I've already said this disclaimer too many times, but I'll say it again. Just so YouTube doesn't get mad mad at me. Um, don't attempt to purchase or download anything off of the deep deep web. There are many illegal things that you might not know of. Um, don't attempt to to um, don't attempt to do anything Ill illegal based basically because no one wants to end up in the prison system. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye guys.